Coach Young, survive another week. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Appreciate it. So that was a great game, man. A yes. lot of emotions going on in that Absolutely. game. Um, that was one of the most anticipated games I've seen around the mm -hmm. area in a long mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. um, where do you rate that? I mean, you've coached a lot of big games. You know, I remember the game with Issa against Joe's. Yeah. You know, where do you rank that game? Oh, we, I, I, I would have to put that one right up there with T. Rogier's uh, regional uh, uh, district championship game against Garfield, mm -hmm. where he scored 37, 10, and 5. Mm -hmm. And took us on down, and, and we lost to go to Columbus to Ed's. But uh, that district game was live. But this one just had a lot of uh, hype around it. Yeah. Sellout crowd, uh, great fans on both sides. But Shakers fans really were just phenomenal. And I put a tweet out because uh, I was really humbled by that. Mm -hmm. And I just I felt the support, I felt the, the camaraderie, I felt the sense of community. And uh, they really helped us uh, will ourselves as a staff and a team for that win. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would say right up there with that one. Yeah, that game was really exciting. I noticed a few things, man. From I was at the last mm -hmm. game, and you know, I noticed a few changes. Um, like for instance, you guys last game came out with a lot of energy, a lot of emotion. Mm -hmm. This game, you came out with the same intensity, mm -hmm. but you guys looked a little more focused, not not talking so much. Was that something you guys emphasized? Oh, absolutely. Or is that, okay. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We talked a lot about fast starts because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. early in the season, the middle of the season, we were spotting teams like eight down, eight down, ten. Right. And we really had a conversation doing video mm -hmm. where we showed them kind of why we were getting off to a slow start. Okay. And I think it has a lot to do with our warm-up not being focused and intentional. Mm -hmm. And I think not ending practice hard mm -hmm. the same way you start practice. Mm -hmm. You know, those little things. We tried to emphasize, you know, we got to make sure we focus on the details mm -hmm. because the sum of all the details equals championships. Mm -hmm. So uh, we made that a priority. Yeah. I mean, you guys played against uh, Alonzo Gaffney. Mm -hmm. he's, I mean, in my opinion, he's, mm -hmm. he's, he's definitely up there top, you know, 15 in the Almost country. Definitely. Um, I mean, you guys took him completely out the game. Yeah. Um, you know, how, how, how did you do that with, with, with no sides? It was shocking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but our, our, game, our guys followed the game plan to a T. Um, I'm not going to say all our, our yeah. tricks because yeah. we, we got yeah, some more games coming. <laughs> yeah. But I'll, I'll just say, say this. The guys did a very good job executing our game plan to a T. Yeah. Um, how we want to play guys with length when you don't have length. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, I'll put it like this. I had a great conversation with a college coach I really trust and respect. Mm -hmm. Um, a coach that's recruiting uh, Christian Guest, um, and they gave me some good tips because they're kind of undersized, and they, they explained how they guard when they play a team bigger than them. And I implemented mm -hmm. some of those uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, teaching points, and the guys kind of loved it, nice. and, and it's been working for us. Good. I don't want to say it out loud. Yeah, yeah, good, yeah. good. So I got got a couple, more, just two more questions uh -huh. for you. Um, with, with Christian Guest and Dale Bonner, mm -hmm. I mean, they have really led this team mm -hmm. to a whole nother level, but. Um, Justin has mm -hmm. really been really solid for mm -hmm. you guys in both mm -hmm. Garfield games. Mm -hmm. He's come up with some really big shots. Mm -hmm. He got the first three of the game last mm -hmm. game. I mean, that kid just kind of gets he, he kind of gets swept under the yeah. rug a little bit, but he comes to play every yeah. night. Mm -hmm. I mean, what type of leader is he? What type of kid is he off the court? Oh my God, he's a, he's a phenomenal kid off the court. Uh, great parents, first mm -hmm. off. He's been raised very well. Mm -hmm. He's a max scholar. Mm. Uh, he's probably one of the highest achieving minority males in the district. Mm. I think it's like a 3.8, 3.9 in all AP classes. Mm -hmm. He wants to be an engineer. Uh, he would like to play college basketball, mm -hmm. but that's not his emphasis because he's very, very, very bright. He wants to be an engineer. And so the same focus and attention to detail that he gives in the classroom, mm -hmm. he does the same thing on the court. Mm. And he's shooting you know, a high, high percentage from three, so mm. basically he has a green light. Right. I say, right. if you have any opening, you pull it. Yes. I don't care if you miss 20 of them, keep shooting. Yeah. So he's embraced that, that, that freedom, yeah. and I think he's done a very good job. Also attacking the rim. He's been doing a good job attacking the rim. Because Christian and Dale you know, consume so much attention, mm -hmm. it's a lot of openings available for them. He's attacking one guy. Yes. Versus, they're so worried and concerned about those guys. So you gotta take those opportunities. That makes sense. He's definitely yep. taking advantage. Yeah, of those. he's taking advantage of. So I got one more question for uh -huh. you. I mean, you came under the legend Bob Watson. Yes. Um, you know, you you learned a lot from him. A lot. Um, he did a great job of setting mm -hmm. the culture here, mm -hmm. getting a lot of alumni mm -hmm. to come back mm -hmm. and help. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's a lot of pressure on you to uh -huh. keep continue that going. Right. Um, you know, we've been following you guys through this playoff mm -hmm. run and. You know, we've seen nothing but support from the alumni. Yeah. Like, how does that feel? What do you do? Like, I mean, how does not every program has that? Uh -huh. I mean, like, you know, what makes Shaker so special? Well, I'm a big social media guy. Okay. Um, I have what 1,600 followers on Twitter, mm -hmm. and uh, I have a lot of the alumni cell phone number. Nice. Um, I text them, I email them, uh, I try to embrace their successes and what's happening with them, and I, I always try to invite them back. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the bulk of my staff is uh, is uh, Shaker alumni. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, I really like the fact that sometimes during winter break, Thanksgiving vacation break, we try to have open gyms mm -hmm. where they come back and give back and scrimmage these guys and then be a blessing to them during the games, after the games. Mm -hmm. As I say, just try to pour into them. Mm -hmm. So you, you gotta know where you came from to understand how rich that tradition is and mm. how much accountability mm. that's thrust upon you to keep it moving. Mm. So as far as working for Coach Watson, I was very patient. Mm -hmm. I sat for 17 years, mm -hmm. man. I sat 17 years and just watched him. I was, I'm a low ego guy. I had opportunities to go elsewhere. I could have went home to Akron, Bookville. They called me a couple of times for some interviews and some other programs, but my love is a shaker. I believe, you know, red and white now. Yep. You know, I'm yep. from 1040 Copley Road, Akron, Akron, okay. Bookville, but uh, I'm alumni there, but I love Shaker Heights. Um, so. I really want Shaker to uh, enjoy the success, and I don't want it to end. I think our community deserves a state championship, yes. and that's what we're working for. So well, I know the community's enjoying this yeah. run, man. We appreciate yeah. you. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Yep. Right. Thank you. Good luck. Yep.